when any man considers working on their their social life and they want to take that first step with talking to people there's always and I do mean always that added pressure that those first interactions that they're going to have have to be absolutely amazing and they're going to have full-on conversations with people now this can apply with both the dating side of things and just I think with socializing in general so like if you're going to a networking event or if you're looking to start some new hobby or start going to places where you know socializing is a really important factor I think most men who are haven't really experienced much of that whether it maybe it be because of just their lifestyle maybe they're very introverted and shy and whatnot that it can be very difficult and maybe even more scary to start talking to people and questioning like oh what am I going to talk about what am I going to say and so on but I want you to understand that you know, you've got to warm your brain up. And this is what I wanted to kind of do this video is to let you know that it is absolutely okay if those first conversations that you're having with people socially go horribly wrong or don't go well. Don't put that pressure on yourself. There is absolutely nothing to worry about. And this is the reason why. As with anything, you know, you have to warm yourself up, get into the flow state of doing it to get the best results. And I'll give you, in fact, I'll give you a very, very simple example here of how if you don't warm up your conversations, it can be very difficult for people. And I want you to imagine you've like literally got out of bed first thing in the morning and whether you live on your own, whether you live with housemates or maybe even live with your parents or other family or friends or whoever. And think about if you've gotten out of bed first thing in the morning when your brain is all sticky and you can't think straight, your priorities are I got to get to the bathroom, I got to get dressed and stuff. Think about how difficult it is to speak to people when you, you're just not there mentally. You're not in that mental state to start having a conversation with people yet. And this same thing, believe it or not, applies to every social situation and even people who are anxious and they just haven't had much social experience with being in public and talking to people. You have to warm up. You have to get yourself in a much more prepared mental state where your focus or your hyper attention is literally on having conversations. And that happens by having conversations and also setting an expectation for yourself that, you know what, my first approaches or my first conversations with strangers aren't going to be great. And that's fine. As long as I am getting comfortable talking with people, getting that focus and attention on my conversations to help me to actively listen to people is where you're going to then start seeing the results. You'll, you'll just feel it. It will just naturally happen. It could be maybe after like a dozen approaches. It could be after five or six. It could even be after like one, two or three. But you have to warm yourself up into having any kinds of conversations. And again, the only way to do that is by going out and talking to people. So if you're thinking about maybe doing something like daytime cold approaching, or if you're going to go networking, or if you're going to start up a hobby and you want to meet new people, or you want to go out and maybe even make new friends, I want you to think about that, you know, give your, give, cut yourself some slack. I'm, I'm, I'm mumbling on my words here, but cut yourself some slack. Don't put that pressure on that your conversations have to be amazing at the start. In fact, you can even kind of be honest with people and say like, like, yeah, I'm, you know, what? I'm, I'm kind of a bit nervous. I don't really get much of an opportunity to socialize. So uh, I know I've got this bad habit of being quite introverted. So, uh, yeah, just as a heads up, you know, 
make it uh, make, be honest but if you even throw in a little bit of humor with that and maybe even a bit of sarcasm on yourself that can certainly uh break the ice a little bit and that can make talking to new people even easier because if they understand what your situation is then they'll also cut you some slack so you get to cut yourself some slack and they'll cut you some slack so everyone then in a conversation is going easy on you or giving you an opportunity to actually develop and grow your confidence so what can you actively do to make your experiences better well i I mean i've kind of revealed it already but just go out and talk to people now if you're a guy working on your daytime cold approaching then just get used to being in public and get used to asking people um very simple questions or making very simple statements and observations about people give them a compliment ask for directions you know ask for recommendations on things you know um, ask them questions like if you see someone let's say you're uh, on south bank we'll use london as an example here and you see a food store and you see someone maybe like eating an ice cream or eating a hot dog or something go over and ask them and say like excuse me just cheeky question but how is that i I saw the price i saw it was a bit bit crazy expensive and i want to know if it's worth it something as simple as that just to get the ball rolling is fine you're not looking for a full-blown conversation about like the top 10 restaurants in london and you know should you eat a michelin star restaurant nothing crazy like that you know you're asking a very very simple question and the point is is that you are just getting that anxiety out the way you're bursting that anxiety bubble which i have spoken about in another video and you're just getting yourself comfortable being present and reducing that anxiety in that social environment and then the more that you do that the more adventurous and confident you'll be with your conversations and then you'll find you'll start asking and talking about more interesting things so just get started in a very very simple manner and just consider the fact that you are just warming your brain up you are calibrating your thinking and you're making yourself more present in your conversations and developing that flow state and when you get there and you'll feel it because you'll feel quite grounded that is when you will start having good conversations and that happens to everyone from the really introverted to the really extroverted to the people who socialize a lot to the people who absolutely despise socializing and as soon as they just do a little bit then they're in the mood for it and that can certainly happen for you as well so i hope that you can take this advice on board and in fact i'd love to hear in the comments below if you actually give this a go just go out and after especially watching this video ask someone a question ask for directions give a compliment whatever it is and just do one and then let me know how you feel about yourself or how you feel presence wise now that you've done that now that you've sort of burst that anxiety bubble at least just a little bit maybe you've just sort of like popped it and it's like starting to deflate a little bit but you've just popped it how do you feel about that now if you're finding that that is going to be a struggle for you then what i'd love for you to do is actually have a look on my website at my different coaching programs that i have available and if any are of interest for you or even if they're not i do offer a complimentary client assessment where maybe i can give you some more personal advice that might be able to just help you take some uh initial first steps to get you a bit more sociable um because you know if you can't go out and ask someone for directions then it it just sounds like you need just a little bit of extra help there and that is absolutely okay there is nothing wrong with that and i want to make sure that that is clear for everyone that every man is at different levels and if they need the help that's okay but you know what there's a plateau that everyone gets to there's no like advanced and professional level there's none of that nonsense you get to a level that you're good at being able to talk to people comfortably and same if there are other guys that are a little bit further behind bit more time bit more practice and effort and you'll get 
to the exact same place where those confident people are too. So like the video if you can, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts on stuff and definitely take my advice on board. And if you do need help, reach out through my website. I'd love to hear from you and hear how things are going. But other than that, my name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And thank you very much for watching.